Hello friends, imagine you are working on a large spreadsheet uh, like showing on the screen, right? This is such a um, big data here, uh, has company information, company codes, income, labor, like uh, it's, it's such a big uh, spreadsheet here and then your boss coming up to you and then asks you to get some information within five minutes because he has an urgent meeting with the other GMs, right? So on that time, what you can do, either you can scroll it manually and then get the data, but that will take a lot of time or you can just simply use one formula and then th that will only literally take two minutes and then it will save uh, your a lot of time right so yes that formula is called vlookup so today we are going to learn about how to vlookup works so by the end of this video you will not only master it completely but i'll show you the real world scenarios how vlookup um, works and how it saves our time um, every week right so first of all um welcome to some sprint uh so uh today's video completely on we look up uh, mastery guide so let's dive in and then see how it works right so first let's understand what we look up actually does the v uh, stands for vertical meaning it search down column vertically right um so we can say we look up as our personal detective that can can find a piece of information from a large data set right so here like we want to get uh, the income for this particular client so um instead of scrolling it down or search it manually we can use we look up formula to get the uh, in income for this particular client right so we look up is everywhere in uh, in all the business now so uh, for example hr department use it for the employee data sales team department use it for the pricing lookups uh, either uh, we can say students also um, use this we look up for the grade tracking inventory managers for the stock level so many right so if you work with the data you uh, need this skill so let's see how we can use we look up formula so here what i want in this from this spreadsheet my boss asked me to get the uh, income for this particular uh, sum of he asked me to get the um, uh, information for this company codes so what information he needs he needs the total income and then the labor cost from this spreadsheet right so uh, here what i can see i can see this is the same client code right and the um income that is uh, is uh, evenly break it's it also breaks in uh, different uh, we can say invoice numbers has different invoice numbers and then uh, the total income for this particular client is we can say 11,551 but I'm not going to um, add it manually so what we can do so let's um, make the insert the pivot table first to make it easier because this is such a big large uh, spreadsheet so I'm going to insert a table on the same sheet where my boss asked me to get the information right so if you want to know how to insert a pivot table so i'll um, you can check my other videos or i can uh, put the link in the description so you can check it there right so and then learn how to insert the pivot table so here i'm quickly inserting the pivot table so what information we need we need the company code and then we need in income and then we will need a labor cost right so we have got our information here so now we are going to use uh, this data as our source data and then get the information here what i'm looking at so i need the first company uh, i need uh, is for curn so either we can just search it here filter it or if we can just manually find it so this is a time consuming so what i'm going to use i'm going to use a vlookup so is equal to vlookup right what i am looking so first one he is saying lookup value so we are going to look up this one right we are going to look up this one from table array so table array is from here to here right and then comma uh, column index number so we need a uh, sum of income so our column index number is one two from column 
to right and then comma then it ask should it be a true match or uh, a approximate match or a exact match we want a exact match so we will choose false here right and then so we can see this client has um, the client revenue for this client is 721 so we can search it so what we can do we can just simply drag the formula here and then get the rest of uh, re get the income for the rest of the companies right so in this way we can use our uh, vlookup formula so same for the labor cost is equal to uh, vlookup right so what we are going to look up for we are going to look up this company code from this table array now the column index number the column index number for this one here is one two three because it's um, on the third number so we are going to put three here and then comma should it be a approximate match or an exact match yes we need the exact match so we are we will choose false right and then enter then just simply drag it down so we have get our income and then labor cost here right so let's see for this just to make it clear c o r n 251 i should be here c o r n 251 so this is 721 721 here right so in this way we can get the information by using v lookup formula so we can also see there are some annies so when it, we uh, provide this information to our boss it looks ugly right so we don't want to provide um, this information to our boss we want to make it clean so what we can do on the on that time we can wrap our we look a formula with um what's that call if error so what we can so we are going to use the same formula but in here we can start with the if error if error comes up then we look up what right and then what information if you want to give some message we can give some message if you want to give like a, a not found you can say not found right or like if you want to give like a zero or like whatever you want to give the information you can give the information here and then it will come up like uh, uh, like whatever the message we have given so i uh, am on this spreadsheet i have all the information in the number so i'm going to use zero if, if this um and this particular client is not in our database this just give me a zero right so it has given me a zero so in this way we can use this formula so i have dragged my formula down and then it has given all the n is to zeros same for this one just use um if error here again if error we look up whatever we have looked up and then if the data is not there just give me zero right uh, yes and then scroll it then scroll the data down and then all the n is will gone right so our spreadsheet will look so um, nice and clean and then your boss will be happy so this is how we use we look a formula hope um, you will like this video and don't forget to um, share this video and um, don't forget to subscribe my channel for and i will come up with the new video as well so thanks for now and see you again with the new video bye